Hello, dearest people. It's Monday, February the 8th. And I've been thinking, you know, I've been thinking, always thinking about this as part of practice, that when we really, we really start to grow up and we really start to become, um, we really start to grow up, good way to put it, you know, when we start to take, when we start to recognise our, um, the unhappy parts of our mind and own them as our, our, not own them as our own, not always trying to see something out there, you know. The irony of ego is a, it's not actually something very strong, ego. Ego is quite weak and fragile, and we're always trying to get off the hook. It's too fearful for us. But the point is, when we can start to own, when we can start to, but we can't begin to own the unhappy parts of ourselves, like the anger and the anxiety and the fears, until we've owned the good parts. And that's kind of, the, that's the point. If we can start to recognise we've got these amazing qualities, we are kind, we are generous, we have got potential, we are being patient, we are doing our best, we are making effort. We, but the, again, the irony of ego is we don't even like to think these things. But we can start to own the good things, it is easy to own the rest. Then we can start to heal, I mean literally heal, you know. This is something very powerful. It takes courage, though. And, of course, the first step has to be to want to look into your mind, which is the bottom line. Being your own therapist, as Islam Yeshi would say, that being a Buddhist is, it's the, it's the best way to put it. So we have to start somewhere, very slowly, one step at a time. We, that's it. And, again, this is what I try to do every single day. Much love to all of you.